The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello, everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I got a game over. Now we gotta do these two levels again, and then next time we'll do the moon. Gonna go to the Himalayas first, because that's where the extra hit point is, and also Rosser is with us. Howdy again. Uh, I'll try to make this fast. At least we played this level at once already, so I kind of know where everything is. The nice thing about these old school games is that after you've been through a level a couple of times, you can easily zip back through it. With, well, without getting lost, anyway. For the most part, yep. Uh, screw that path. Old Scrooge has seen better days. Hey, wait a minute. Okay. Quick question. Scrooge McDuck is in fact a duck. Yes. Ducks are birds, yes? Yeah. Birds can fly, can they not? In theory. In theory? Why he fallen down pits? I don't know, there's actually another cartoon about ducks and gators and they bring up the whole thing about why can't they fly a whole lot. In fact, really? the main character has this, like, dream of being able to one day fly. I don't know if he succeeds. I never watched the second season. Hmm. I must admit, I have not heard of this show. But I am intrigued. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Or else I'd, uh recommend it, possibly. But it's about this duck who winds up befriending a gator in the first episode. You know what? No, I'm not dealing with yep. you. Oh, it's that one again. Not dealing with that either. I've seen an awful lot of cartoons in my time. Interestingly enough, the uh, cartoons these days seem to be still pretty high quality. Eh, some of them. Sometimes. Some of them. I'll put I'll put a I'll put a butt out there. I think to the left was the boss. We don't want to go to the boss just yet. We want those sweet, delicious extra hit points, which I will assume are represented by the still-beating hearts of our enemies. Why not? That's the kind of thing they would have in a Disney cartoon, right? That's something they'd have a Di in a Disney movie. Too true, too true. I have seen some stuff in Disney movies. But now, getting back to the previous mention of cartoons, you know, the Disney Afternoon had some amazing cartoons in its run. Some my childhood was stuff. two things. My childhood was Nintendo, and my childhood was the Disney Afternoon. It was a nice childhood. Yes, good times. And you know what? Most of those Disney cartoons from the Disney Afternoon turned into really awesome Capcom games. Yes, like Darkwing Duck and Rescue Rangers. And Aladdin. Who actually did have a series for a while. Yes, that was one of those movies that became a TV show. Alright, here we go. Ow. 
the abominable snow pun. Who has many invincibility frames. But I still got him. Well, let's be fair, you get invincibility frames, so the enemies get some too. It's yeah. sharing. And caring is sharing. Yes, that went fairly quickly. Now we've just got to make a quick traipse through the Amazon, right? Pretty much. I'll still and try to grab some treasure along the way. Knocking tree stumps. Who hides diamonds in tree stumps anyway? Moonshiners. Ah. Uh. Them's my kinds of people. Ah, uh, I hate this guy. I have not been able to get past him without taking damage yet. Can I do that this time? Just do your best to hit him right squat. There we go. Yep, there you go. <sighs> get all the treasures in here. Because... Because... Because of all of the wonderful things it buys. I'm so glad to have this many hit points now, as well as a 1-up. 1-ups are awesome. It does seem like it's a real boon to this level. Specifically. Where the danger comes more from the hits you take than the pits you traverse. Gotta say, even though uh, I never actually played any of the DuckTales games before- How did that miss? Whatever. You're not too hard to jump under. Must have sliced it. Yeah. But even though I haven't played any of the DuckTales before this, there was quite a bit of nostalgia whenever I got this game in the mail and looked at the cartridge. Why is that diamond in the ground? Let me have it! How the heck? Whatever. Well, where do you usually find diamonds? But it fell from the sky! <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? Um, no, not really. Well, I have no idea what it means. But apparently it's a thing. But anyway, nostalgia. Never played this game, but felt plenty of it. Okay, seriously. I'd like to talk about nostalgia, but I'm focusing on luring this bee- You know what? Screw that treasure. Oh god, not the bees. There we go. Oh, it's only a cake. I didn't even need it. Only a cake? Cake is delicious. It's so delicious and moist. <laughs> nostalgia. Right. Nostalgia. Probably comes from looking at the box art. Well, first off, it could be the fact that it's DuckTales. DuckTales is pretty nostalgic. But it can But especially the, uh, the box art, because it's like... Years ago, when I was a kid, when, when my parents would go shopping, I would spend the time hanging out in the video game section, looking at the games. This was during a time where you could actually take the box and read the back without having to ask for permission. Oh, I remember those times. But among all the games I would look at, DuckTales was one of those games. Not just regular uh, NES DuckTales, but this version in particular. One thing that always fascinated me as a kid was the fact that there were Game Boy ports of console games. Games like Felix the Cat, DuckTales, and Tetris Attack. I actually had this fantasy where there, w there would be... They would make, um, 
a Game Boy version of Super Mario RPG. I always thought that would be neat. Would it have been possible? I don't know. But it definitely would have been neat. I'm gonna go back the other way because I'm pretty sure one of the past has a 1-up. And I need it. It certainly would have been possible once uh, Game Boy Advance came out, but by then... You know, I don't think uh, Nintendo and Square were seeing eye-to-eye -eye quite as much as they had before. Yeah, I actually uh, sent an email to Nintendo once asking if the Game Boy Advance port of Mario RPG would ever happen, and they got a response saying, or I got a response, and they pretty much said that it's like one of the most requested ports. Right behind Earthbound, right? I don't know, I wasn't terribly familiar with Earthbound at the time. You know, back back then when uh, when all of this was going on, I remember my big hot button issue with the time was I was really really mad at Nintendo because they kept coming out with Pokemon games and not porting over the new Final Fantasies. I felt betrayed. And that's why, to this day, I am always a little bit cold towards the Pokémon series. I'm okay with Pokémon, but... I generally don't get, like, every game because it's basically the same game every time. Eventually, well, I mean, though, I'll get Pokémon male and female. As soon as I get myself a 3DS. You know, that's another one of those systems that I feel like I should have because it's got so many great games on it, but I never quite got around to buying one. It's got a new Mario RPG on it. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I'll do the classy thing and not bring up um, that other Mario game which shall not be named. I'm a little curious, but okay. I won't ask. <laughs> oh, you know the one. It's high technical. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we shall end this episode, and next time we shall explore the, the moon. moon. Shake that thorax, baby. Can I believe you just said that? <laughs>